Hey there, it's the beginning of the week and I just want to encourage you to be successful by planning ahead. So, you know, many times you might start the week with good intentions, but then you get derailed along the way. Um, and I think it starts with having a plan, knowing what you're going to do, you know, shopping, getting the right food in place, uh, maybe preparing something ahead of time, whether you're going to take it to work uh, for lunch or have something ready on a busy night. You know, you got kids' schedules going on after school, going to practices, and you need to have something in place for, for dinner that night. Rather than, you know, ordering pizza, going through the drive through um, you want to have something ready to be, you know, prepared. That's a healthy choice, at least for you, for whatever your plan is. Uh, because if you, if you fail the plan, then you, you plan to fail, right? So have something in place when everybody's, you know, ready to go to lunch or they're going to order pizza and you could say, no, thank you. I brought my lunch or I'm going to run by Panera and get a salad. Just know ahead of time, have an alternative that's for you. Um, get ready for a little bit of peer pushback because most people, most people don't apply discipline to what they eat and it makes, might make them feel a little bit insecure about that. Uh, when someone else does and starts to break away from what everyone else is doing to, you know, for themselves, okay, to make their own decision. Uh, it makes some people uncomfortable. Um, there's a crab analogy where you have, you know, if you put your crabs in a bucket and one tries to crawl out, the others will grab it and pull it back in. Um, you don't need to succumb to peer pressure. You know, we're, we've all made it through high school. Um, we learned, lived and learned through that, that, you know, we can be individuals and make our own decisions, especially about what you eat. And if you're going to be successful, that's exactly what you're going to have to do. So I'm going to encourage you, plan ahead, have your mind made up, have your alternatives for, for a, a situation. You've lived through this week before. It's not much different than last week, I'm sure. You know what can happen. You know what your schedule's like. Plan ahead. Be ready to make good choices. Talk to you later.